summer maybe only for like a year but I watched it for like a year constantly um, every night pretty much as I'm sure a lot of you do as well and you know you, I'm sure a lot of you understand you just you kind of when you're on your own you kind of mess around and you like tap on things and you just like whisper and I'd recorded like a couple of I may still have them after like um, little selfie videos just like vertical ones on my iPhone just like whispering I just wanted to hear what it sounded like and um, I, I just wanted to try it for myself because ASMR is such a good YouTube niche to get into you don't need to have a fancy setup which is awesome like highly recommend and um but I thought I never thought my channel would like do well I just wanted to try it out because I just always thought that I had like an ugly voice just because like I have a bit of a mix of accents I feel and my mom always like picked me up for like mumbling or slurring my words so I just was like I don't really have the nicest voice, but I just I just wanted to try it out. I need to speak a little more slowly, apologies. And um I knew that other people around that time, those my first ASMR videos were like kind of popular. So I just did one of those me trying ASMR and it was literally like at 2 a.m. I was in my um kind of like a d dorm room, I guess. Um and I don't know if I'm going to talk about that more. I'll see if anyone answers that question. But, um, and my roommate wasn't there. I think I was, you know, it's kind of the same as I am now, although I'm getting better. I had a terrible sleep routine. What's new? And, um, uh, at like 2 a.m. or something, I just decided to randomly film a video just to grabbed my iPhone, just popped it up on my little bedside table, and my room was pretty cute then, to be honest, like, I, I did like it, like, for what it was, like, just loved it, and I just filmed, and it was about, um, Mari Kondo's life-changing magic of tidying up, um, a great book, highly recommend, and I just got it, and I was so excited to tidy up the clutter in using her method and it was just something I could easily chat about and isn't that quite iconic like I did a book video for my first video I really do need some um books in my background but this is like so wobbly you could only put like really light things on it so we'll play around with the setup this is definitely not my final setup again we're taking too long so let's go on to the next question so this one is from Calum and he says when did you first discover ASMR so I am a YouTube fiend you know watch it all the time watch too much of it all the time and you know you just get like recommended things like suggested and then you go down that rabbit hole I I would love to know how I why it decided to suggest ASMR to me but um the first video I watched was fast ASMRs um she was like tucking you into bed role play and like I was in bed listening to it and um it I, I can't fully remember like what I thought I did think it was a little odd um and I was like mm, I'm not sure about this but and then you know just keep suggesting more and more to you and then before you know it like that's all you're watching okay this one is from Ben Tango he says is Shivy short 
to this question is from Olivia S. And she says, what is your nationality? So, I, I may have confused some people uh, because I kind of like was a troll in my comments and like said I was Scottish or that I might be Scottish. Um, I apologies, I'm not Scottish. So, I am Australian. Um, my family is from, my mum is from England and my dad is from Ireland. And I have lived overseas in the US for several years. So, that's kind of why I have a little bit of a combination of accents. I also do very much enjoy ASMR in American accents. That is what I prefer to watch. So sometimes I will like dip in and out, like purposely and not purposely, depends, um, of an American accent because I do quite enjoy that. So there you go, secrets out. Um, if you watched my telling you secrets in that video, I said that I have filmed videos in three different countries. So the first country, my very first video was filmed in the US, Florida to be specific. Then my next like maybe three to four videos were filmed in Ireland because I went home to Australia via Ireland. So I filmed some videos there, which is so special. I'm so glad I did. Um, I was living with my aunt and uncle. They live in the countryside. Like, there's like cows nearby. Like, it's just the cutest, quaintest place. I would love to go visit um, again, but obviously can't right now. And then everything else has been filmed back home in Australia. So, there you go. Um, yeah, I always get um, questions on where I'm from and some of the guesses. They do quite make me laugh, so um, yeah, I thought it's about time that I tell you though. And so from Cinema Seamus, they asked, have you ever travelled to the US and if so, which areas? So I thought I'd answer this one. So I did a high school exchange in the US which I adore. That was fun. That was a really crazy year. I feel like I should do a story time on that. Um, and I went to California. I went to Santa Maria High School and lived in Santa Maria. Then I did my college exchange in Missouri, um, the University of Missouri, Mizzou, M-I-Z. Um, that was amazing. So amazing. So that was in Missouri. Missouri is amazing. I'm so glad I was able to do an exchange there. There were only so many options. Um, I guess my university here in Australia did like a sister program. And, but I wanted somewhere that wasn't super touristy because on my high school exchange, I'd kind of done a lot of the touristy things. Like I'd gone to New York, I'd gone to San Francisco. I'd gone to Vegas, I'd gone to Los Angeles, and I wanted to experience what it was like to actually, like, be a local, you know? So I think Missouri was really good and beautiful, beautiful place. I love how they have all the seasons. This is my first time experiencing snow. Amazing. You can actually go and watch my video about my college exchange. I did do an ASMR video on it. It's kind of like a time capsule experience. And then I also lived in the US when I did the Disney college program in, I did it at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And that is where I filmed my very first 
So, um, that's been really hard, so that's why I think now I just want to stay in Australia, stay where I live, and just kind of, like, build roots and bonds right here. So, yeah. Okay, so these questions are both under each other from Raya and from Trevor, and they said, which artists and genre of music are you into, or what type of music? What am I listening to? So, um, the, my other grey crew neck jumper is, is my five seconds of summer one. I think someone did ask as well if I'm in any fandoms. Um, uh, so, I love my boy bands. I'm recently starting to get into BTS. I literally cried listening to Permission to Dance because, especially when I watched the music video, just, uh, um, so I've been enjoying that. I'm a big One Direction stand. before that, Jonas Brothers, like, through and through, they were my ride or die. I quite enjoy Justin Bieber's new stuff, like, I really do love, love his new stuff. I was not a fan of him back in the day, because I felt like he was competing with the Jonas Brothers, and, like, JB, like, how dare, like, you take that title, JB belongs to the Jonas Brothers, so, um, so, yeah, Jonas Brothers, then One Direction, oh, love them, I've seen them think twice in concert, once in Missouri, and then once in Australia, Five Seconds of Summer, I discovered them because they, um, toured with One Direction, they were the opening act, um, but who else do I listen to? I really quite enjoyed, uh, Surfaces, like, they're just a band that, like, or, or duo group, I'm not really sure, I think it's just like mainly two guys. They, um, I like enjoy all of their music. It's like really like happy, peppy stuff. 1975, the 1975 are really, really good. I like them. Otherwise, I just have like, I feel like random songs that are just like popular and I'll just save, save them. Um, oh, recently I discovered Machine Gun Kelly and his Downfalls High album. It is just everything I wanted, especially. I feel like it kind of reminds me of like Five Seconds of Summer. Loved it so much. And he did a whole like music movie, music video movie for the whole album. Like insane. Go watch it. I'll try and link it below. So I've been really enjoying his stuff. And yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of BTS like thrown in there. A little bit of Olivia Rodrigo. I don't like all of her stuff because I like more like either like stuff you can dance to or that has a bit more to it. I don't really like slow stuff. I do like a little bit of EDM. I went to, um, I guess I don't, I like going to like an EDM festival. I don't, I might always like play it when I'm like on my own, but, um, I do like that kind of stuff as well that you can, you know, kind of just like rave to, rage to. Um, so yeah, also country. I love, I love Florida Georgia Line. I would, I would love to see them in concert. I think they actually did come to Australia and I, I don't know, I missed it. So that was very sad. Oh, I like this question. This is from Will and he said, do Care Bears and aliens coexist? It's, it's a very deep question. Do Care Bears and aliens coexist? I like to think that they're kind of like distant cousins, like they kind of know of each other, but like they stay in their own lane. Um, but they're definitely on the same playing field. Like if aliens are real, Care Bears are real. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so I guess a few others asked, like, what do I do for work? Um, Loki says, what do you do for a living besides ASMR? So, I work in the sustainability sector, specifically in waste education. It's not a sector or an industry that I ever thought about having a career in, but um, I'm really excited, I think there's lots of innovations going on in waste and, you know, I myself am trying to, like, reduce my waste, um, as well and we, like, promote recycling and things like that, give community feedback, um, so, yeah, it's, it's really, really nice to work in an industry that is, like, doing something for the planet, that is something that I am passionate about 
answer for my last question. This person has asked what is my favorite One Direction song and who is your favorite member? So, I think my favorite song is, oh man, there's so many. I usually do cry at like, where do we belong? Just that album is really good. It will say, where do we belong? Yeah. Um, and my favorite member, that's a hard one. I feel like it always changes. Um, obviously not sane because he's a traitor. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I have to stay loyal to Liam because he, he read my concert sign. Um, he read my, yeah, poster at a concert, like, out loud. They showed it on the big screen. I cried. Um, it was really great. I actually do have, I think, a video of it. I'll see if I can find it. It said, oh, what did it say? It said, we love you more than Vegemite. You know, because I was trying to play up the whole Australian thing. And it had each, it had like five Vegemite jars with like little hands and feet and their like heads on it. And yeah, I said, we love you more. And I did the greater than sign. I don't know. Yeah, I'm hoping this reflects the right way. Um, I did the greater than sign, but I'm so dumb. I accidentally, lucky I realized this, just before we were going into the concert venue and I realized I'd written the less than sign so my sign said we love you less than Vegemite <laughs> luckily with me uh, old school I brought I had an autograph book and a texter marker so 